Welcome to our RFR17 educational series. Here is Andrea. And this is Davide. Thanks for tuning in. In this episode, we will have a look at the system of RFR17 standard calculation engine in action. Yes, today I would like to show you our template project, which allows you to import, export data, and also look at the calculated figures. Sounds great. Where do we get started? First, we navigate to the template project in our system of cloud and then we clone it to start using it. Okay, so you are all invited to do these steps together with us. You will find uh, the link to the project in the description. Let's start this journey together. After having registered to the system of portal, you will end here in the so-called overview of the project. Okay, so this is the true starting point. That's right. From here, many useful information are displayed. The Get Started section contains links to the report, export, and import. The supporting material for this project is this video you are watching now, and many more are coming, stay tuned. At the bottom, we reference the community team and the open source GitHub repository. And how can our users start IFR17 processes? For that, we need to clone this project first and it is sufficient to click on the clone button on the top of the page. Okay, so we have seen that uh, registration comes first and then cloning to get your project. Yes, after cloning, Systemorf gives you 30 days free trial to the project, which allows you to test our standard solution by running it and editing it. Let's then try it out now that we have started a fresh trial. Here, we are in my personal clone project. If you follow these steps, you would have your personal one too, which is entire editable. I suggest we start by having a look at the calculated figures in the reports. This is our report notebook, from which you have the possibility to look at the calculated figures. The starting point is the comprehensive set of data that Systemorf has prepared that can serve for you as template data and are included in this project. And where in this notebook are these template data processed? The full template data is processed through the close import template notebook. It is sufficient to run this cell. To facilitate to get started phase, you can import and process all data in memory following this workflow. However, this project can also be connected to a physical database for a real-life FRS 17 process, as it is described in this first section. So to all of you, we will explain in a separate video how you can connect this project to your own database. But for now, let's test the solution by running everything in memory. That's right. You can use this project and specifically this notebook to assess the calculated figures and study FRS 17 reports in no time. Here, from the outline, we can see what's available from us, from the best estimate to the financial performance. Let's run all cell by clicking this button at the top of the notebook in order to analyze together the sequence of reports. That's amazing. The fact that we can approach results in no time is very convenient. Systemorf has solved the whole complexity allowing users to focus solely on the IFRS reports and processes. Exactly. The first figures are related to present value of best estimate. Here the numbers are shown in an analysis of change report and are aggregation of several group of insurance contracts and amount types. By the way, concerning the present values, if you didn't know, we published a video series just about that, also demonstrating how to adapt to your company and dataset. You can find the link in the description below. Yes, thanks. Following the FRS 17 standard, we have then the risk adjustment report. And then we report a section of actuals. We start with written actuals, separated from the advanced and overdue actual, and finally the deferrable actual. This first part of uh, imported data is summarized in the fulfillment cash flow report. And here I want to show you how you can use data filter and column slices to further drill down the analysis of the data. For example, 
I want to filter by a particular group of insurance contracts that I have prepared in this commented part of the code. And by rerunning the cell related to this report, I have an updated view of this report. Now, I want to further drill down on the granularity of the data by slicing by estimate type. This allows me to show the different contribution to this report that I see being the best estimate of present value and of risk adjustment. Continuing with the reports that the IFRS 17 template uh, project computes, we have the actuarial experience adjustment, where actuals are compared with the releases of the best estimate of present value. Then we have the technical margin, which is allocated to either contractual service margin or loss component or loss recovery component in the case of reinsurance. Then these results are summarized in the balance sheet section with the liability of our remaining coverage, actuarial view and non-actuarial view. And also in the liability of incurred claims report, actuarial view and non-actuarial view. Finally, the financial performance report discloses all the changes of the IFRS 17 balance sheet items. And here, we can use these drop downs to drill down to the finest granularity of the data and analyze our report. Okay, financial performance then closes this overview of the reports. What about the imported data? How complicated it is for our users to import their data? I would say not at all complex. It is actually very easy to use our imports. Let's have a look together at the closed import template at the top of this notebook. From this notebook, you can import your own group of, of contracts and transactional data on top of the system of template data processed through this initialization cell. I see that the instructions and documentation within the notebook are a lot helpful to import successfully these types of data. That's right. For example, in order to import the cash flow file, you can follow section three, where it is sufficient to select the right format and the right file name. Okay, so as a user who wants to test this project, I can visit this notebook and add here the imports of my data in new cells following your lead. Correct. And when you do so, after running the report notebook, you will see the updated figures. Consider that our standard solution performs the bulk of the computation during the import, which effectively calculates or updates the relevant variables. Conversely, report performs little calculation and mostly retrieves data from the database so that it can be blazing fast. This means that also partial results are visible in the reports until all the transactional data is imported and the results are then shown. Fantastic. I'm delighted to hear that system of also take good care of performance aspects when implementing the standard solution. Therefore, after having imported from here the new data, what comes next? We can go back to the report notebook. One more aspect I would like to focus on for today is the open source methodology and implementation of our standard IFRS 17 solution. As these notebooks are conceived to be explored like chapters of a book, we can click on a link within a topic that interests us, such as financial performance. This link directs us toward the calculation engine project. This part contains the specification and documentation of financial performance, that is, how we split the results into these four different sections, as prescribed by the FRS 17 standard. Not only text and formulas are here, but also the corresponding instructions that are executed by the solution to perform this task. Therefore, here we combine the documentation and implementation in the same artifact. But we said at the beginning of the video that the bulk of the computation is performed at import, right? That is very correct. The project gives you access to both report and import sections. For instance, if we are interested in contractual service margin and loss component, we can open the outline 
select LRC technical margin and click on the link here. This notebook contains the specification for all calculations happening at import time. In particular, this section is devoted to explaining how technical margin is evaluated and allocated either to contractual service margin or to loss component. This happens through our switch logic, described further below in the next session. System Earth really wants to bring the IFRS logic at the tip of your finger and for this, we opened the black box up for you. Is there a place where we can grasp the overall picture? If we click here on the overview, we are immediately directed toward the starting point of this project, the calculation engine itself. Systemorph defines a generalized IFRS 17 data model, which is the base for both the import and report blocks. During this episode, we started analyzing the calculated figures, thanks to the report notebook. Then we have dived into the specifications of the calculations performed first at the report level and lastly at the import level. Thank you, Davide, for this very valuable demo. To all of you, uh, let us know if you like the video by giving it a like and sharing it with your community. Drop any question you have in the comment section below. We will get back to you. And stay tuned to catch our next episodes where we cover how to connect to your own database or SharePoint and much more. Bye for now. See you in the next episodes.